Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So I am here. I completed week one for week two of Operation Get Sexy. And I was so happy to see the response because a lot of people are like, I'm gonna do this with you. It seems like a really great idea. Um, good way to hold yourself accountable for um, getting on the right track. And that is exactly what I was trying to do. Um, and I also wanted to say that Operation Get Sexy for me is not only about getting thin, but also really taking care of myself because as a mom, um, part of, you know, getting into a routine with children is kind of for me has been to stop caring for myself so much um, and solely focus on them, which I think is great and wonderful and that's what I should do, but I need to make the time in my life to focus on me as well. Um, so that is part of the thing. And that's not only getting in shape, but just taking care of myself in ways that make me feel good. Um, so like one of my goals this now is to like polish my fingernails weekly. <laughs> just things that I just kind of stopped doing in my life just because I thought they took much too much time um, and just, you know, doing these things. Because when I look at my freshly polished fingernails, it makes me happy. And there's nothing wrong with that. So um, that's just something that I'm including in my life to get myself back on track to be the best me possible. I also want to apologize if the lighting is a little bit dark. We're in the middle of like tropical storm weather and I film in daylight, so I'm getting the most of the daylight that I possibly can. So I don't know if it's the best, but we're gonna deal with it. Last week, my real goals were to drink a lot of water, which I feel like I did, but I still feel like I could drink more. Um, so that was one of my goals, and I think I did a pretty good job, but I think that I can still do a better job. I think that for drinking, trying to make yourself drink water, you need to be able to find a container of some sort that you drink it very quickly. <laughs> um, like some, some like if I drink out of a, a glass or something, I don't drink it that quickly, but if I drink it with a straw, I drink it very quickly, you know? Um, just things like that. So I ended up buying um, just some Voss bottles, drank all the water, and then I refill it um, and I try to refill it a couple times a day. So right now I'm on my second bottle um, and I just try to, that way I can see how much I've drank. If you live in a place where you can drink the water that comes out of the faucet, that's awesome. We don't live in a place where you can drink the water out of the faucet. So um, we just have filtered waters that I refill this with and it seems to work out really nicely. Um, there are smaller ones of these, uh, which are convenient and I have those too, but I'm just trying to drink as much water as possible. Um, but I do like these bottles because if there was something, like maybe you have a hard time just drinking water plain, the tops of these bottles are just so big, um, see that? that you could just add something like lemon to the water or something, just a little bit of something to give it a little bit of flavor so that you can keep drinking the water. I'm fine with it for now, um, but there's points where you get bored with water. I also, like once a week, my I'll take my son to like Chick-fil-A or to PDQ, which is another chicken place because that's all he likes to eat is chicken and french fries. Those are his favorite things. So I... Um, once a week I would take him to like a place like that and or maybe even twice a week and I would always when I, well, once I got pregnant I started drinking like a large sweet iced tea um, from there I'm really I try not to drink soda but you know sometimes you do um, but I managed to eliminate this that this past week so I feel like that was good I just am like nope I'm not gonna get it I'm just gonna keep drinking water so I think I did good there but yeah, this is a process. It's not gonna happen overnight. I also said that last week that I didn't really want to eat too many carbs. And I meant more like like breads and pastas and like rice and just heavy carbs. Um, so that was my thinking. <laughs> like not like fruits and things like that. I like fruit. 
Um, I really love fruit, uh, but I, uh, so I really did pretty well that with that, uh, with the exception of one night we had, um, we went to a Vietnamese restaurant and I got pho, is that how you pronounce it? P-H-O, pho. Um, I like vegetable one and it's in a beef broth and that's gotta be like, that's gotta have so much sodium in it that's so awful, but um, it's so good. Uh, so I got that. So that was like one night I did that and then the other thing that I had was we went to a, um, a Korean food truck and I don't know what it was called that we got from the food truck but it involved rice, so I shared it with my husband. I had a little bit of rice, but it was, I don't know. <laughs> it just, it just, everything's okay in moderation. I'd like to try to avoid these things completely, but you know, it is what it is. I also, um, I'm not supposed to have dairy. Not, no one told me I couldn't have it, but um, I'm breastfeeding right now as well. And um, I can't, every time I drink dairy, it upsets my, my baby's stomach, so I have to watch what I intake into my body also, um, that's part of why it's such a process because I can't just be like, I can just stop eating for like two weeks. Um, no, I can't do that because I'm, I'm feeding a baby along with me, but um, I had a little bit of bubble tea, just a little bit. I, I had this craving for it and I really, really wanted it. So I shared a bubble tea with my husband. He drank the majority, but I just needed like that little bit of a taste and it's a milk-based tea. So um, I got my fix, but yeah, those are my bad things this week. I also said that I wanted to start like exercising and my form of exercising is walking. Did that five of the seven days I would have done it even more, but because of the weather, it just prevented me from walking outside. Um, it's raining. And I personally like walking in the rain, but I have this fear of the mosquitoes biting my baby at this point. Um, I did just buy a mosquito net for the stroller, um, but I don't want him to get all soaked. I don't know, so I just didn't walk two of the seven days. And I think that that was okay. But I walked at least 30 minutes a day and I really truly felt so much better getting that into my routine. I would love to walk today, but I think today is one of the worst rainy days. Um, so next week, I definitely know that it's going to be only walking at least six of the seven days, but we'll see. Maybe today it'll clear up all of a sudden. I don't know. It's I don't know. I don't know how the weather will be. You never know. It could be like really sunny for a little bit and I could try to walk, but we shall see. But I truly get like this surge of energy when I walk. So my husband walked with me two of the days, I believe. Yeah, two of the days in the morning we walked um, to our favorite coffee shop. So that was nice. I always think it's nice when you, um, you walk, but there's like a destination that you can stop at in between. Um, so if there is like a coffee shop or something like that, um, that you can walk to, and get a drink and then like walk with the drink or sit and relax and have your drink. I just think it's nice to break it up a little bit. Um, I just drink like black coffee and that's what I drink. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily, but we sat and enjoyed our coffee with our children. It was just nice, but um, yeah. As far as eating goes, um, I know that somebody requested that I film like what I eat and everything. And I don't know the best way to go about that, but a majority of the nights um, we just made like these fresh kind of vegetable spring roll type thing. Um, and essentially it was just lettuce and like avocado and carrots um, and shrimp some nights. I like just vegetable, uh, but my husband likes some kind of protein in there as well. But um, and cucumbers and we just wrapped it in rice paper um, that you can get at like an Asian food store or um, a lot of grocery stores that sell them in that little Asian section. I didn't like completely eliminate carbs, I was eating the rice paper. Um, but the rice paper, I read that I think it's only like 30 calories for a piece of rice paper. And if you're someone that likes craving, like craves sandwiches and stuff, I feel like that would be a good thing to get because then you can replace like sandwich bread and put like meat and lettuce and stuff in it and then wrap it up 
in the rice paper. Um, I just feel like that's such a good idea. I don't know, but that's what we did. But, ba but basically we just did like a salad inside of the wrap a majority of the nights. So because I feel as though getting these things going and making my, trying to get myself a lot sexier in the process, I have things that I need to do. Um, and I, in my mind, it's all about making it part of routine. So it just like, if you get it into your routine, it just goes so smoothly. The hardest part is getting it into your routine. So you have to find that time to get it into your routine. And for me, I really like walking in the morning, so I'm gonna to try to like walk in the morning. Just another goal of mine for the next week is to just always make sure that I wash my face at nighttime. I just got this Tria age-defying laser that I'm super excited to be using and um, just to make my skin overall just so much better. Um, so I just, things to make sure that I do in my routine every night. So it's like, wash my face, use the laser, um, paint my nails once a week, like just do these kind of things. I don't know, it just makes me happy. As long as I can take care of myself while taking care of my children, my children are my first and foremost priority, but I can squeeze myself in there and I could still be awesome in the process. This week, um, I probably only lost one pound. I'm not 100% sure because I bought this scale off Amazon and you literally step on it and it gives you one weight. Step off, step back on, and you weigh like five pounds less than you did when you stepped on it the first time. So I don't know my actual weight. Today I weighed myself and I weighed 139. So maybe I lost a pound in this past week and then I stepped on it again and I weighed 135. But I really think that I'm more like 139. I don't think I lost very much, I think, but I overall, I feel a lot better, so I have to buy a new scale. Um, so maybe this next week I'll buy a new scale. It's not really, the number isn't that important. It's really about overall health and well-being, um, but I, I honestly don't know how much I weigh at the moment. Um, and it's not like I wanna go to the grocery store and get on the scale at the grocery store because I have all my clothes on then. I wanna be like completely naked. Um, but <laughs> I have no idea how much I weigh at the moment. But just overall, I feel so much better. I have like a little bit more energy. Um, I think drinking a lot of more water than I was is very helpful and I want to continue. Like I can wear my wedding bands and my engagement ring now and they fit comfortably on there. Whereas last week I felt like I was just a lot more swollen. So it's like they're on there and they're not, um, they're not overly tight. I hate that feeling of things being like too tight on my body, especially jewelry. Like I like my clothing super tight, but <laughs> like jewelry, I, I don't like it constricting me. And that's part of the reason that I wanted to get this overall better feeling is because one of my favorite things in the whole world is jewelry. <laughs> just one of the things that I love the most is jewelry. And it was all just feeling so tight and not looking as, well, it was still looking pretty, but <laughs> it was just feeling a lot more tight and constricting. And I love wearing jewelry and it just, without it, I feel so blah. So um, now I'm able to wear my jewelry to now um, very, very comfortably without it feeling like it's like, um, it's just too much. I even wore my other ring today. Just good stuff. Good, good stuff. Makes me feel good. So I guess I'll show you my body now. I feel as though overall I just am less bloated. I don't know if you can tell a difference or not in my body, um, but I just feel, I feel less bloated. I still feel jiggly. I still need to work on that, but I still feel jiggly, but I just feel, I feel better. So that's part of it. Goals this next week will be one, to continue walking because that makes me happy and continue walking more and more and that will be great. Hopefully this weather subsides very soon and I can just start like going at it again. Um, another goal, just stupid little things. Um, 
I'd like to just do some jumping jacks. <laughs> it's really weird and random, but I like doing jumping jacks. I feel like they kind of like do something good for my body. Um, <laughs> so my goal is going to be to do 20 in the morning, 20 before I go to bed, and probably 20 sometime in the middle of the day. But if I could get like at least 40 jumping jacks in there where I'm doing some kind of body movement, I think that that's wonderful. Um, so that's one of my goals this week is to do some jumping jacks. I also would like to eat a lot of fruit during the day um, and vegetables, just raw fruit and vegetables because there are times during the day where I get really hungry and I'm like, what do I have to snack on? And I'd just rather consistently eat like small, like pieces of fruit during the day um, in between like meals. I don't really eat breakfast though, but um, maybe I'll have like some more fruit for breakfast. And then like, even if I was eating like just an apple, like in between and some nuts and things like that. So I just want to eat a lot more um, fruits and vegetables during the day, if that makes sense. I can always have like my salad at lunch, but I want to, you know, incorporate more, 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 more. I'd like to also try to get in a workout DVD like once, just one time this next week. I'm gonna try to do one workout DVD sometime this week because I'd like to then start doing it twice a week then maybe three times a week, just doing some kind of workout DVD. I like the workout DVDs where it doesn't require any equipment and it's all just like body movements and stuff. I have a couple, I'm not sure where they are right now, but I'm gonna see what I can do and I can report back to you next week on what I did and where exactly I'm at. Um, yeah, but you guys, um, all motivated me so much more when I read all your comments and stuff. It was just amazing. So I would love for you all to tell me what you did this past week, what your goals are for next week. Um, anything, anything. I just, I, I enjoy reading your comments. I don't always get to write back to comments because I'll be busy and I'll be in the car and I'll, um, like I'll be sitting in the car for a minute while like my husband runs into a store, I'll be like reading through my comments on YouTube and stuff, or um, he'll be driving and I'll be reading through my comments on YouTube, or the baby and my son will be asleep in the car, so I'll just be like sitting in the car and I'll be reading my comments on YouTube. Um, and I'm not really 100% sure how you write back to comments through the phone. I'm just better at sitting in front of the computer and writing back. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's it. But I really enjoy all of your comments and everything is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, so that's it for now, but I will see you all next week with another video and hopefully I'll have in the next couple days on this channel also my August favorites. So I'll see you soon. Goodbye.